currently are ahead of schedule. So I already finished the first highlights. Wow. I know, I know Tapsy one. There you go. Yeah, so it should be Owen one. Fight. Oh, and the full costume, you know what that means? It means business. Yeah, so it's Owen one in favor of Tapsy right now. Oh, that's guaranteed. Had three steps, but not going for it. Full string on back turn. That's not your Horang, obviously. It's the name on the screen frontier. <laughs> No, again, tonight is Dojang Exhibitions featuring players from the Dojang. Either Cheese Dojang or Dojang Exhibitions. The Cheese, you viewers playing and challenging each other's cheese. Sparring here in this online weekly. So Sunday's uh, viewers versus viewers. Fridays is where you play against me. I only play twice a week. Which is Tuesdays and Fridays. Technically, when the Cheese Cup was happening, I was only playing once a week, every Tuesday. Because Fridays became Dojang Exhibitions and Sundays was the Cheese Cup. Guess the big counter hit there. Did not get AOP'd for F1 plus 2. Big damage, going for the back turn Plasma Blade, which is negative 13 on block. Compared to Horang's left Plasma Blade on LFF, his default stance, which is negative 19. No duck there, getting the back 4-4. Alas, no wall splat for two slices of red cheese. Round four. Move on to the next round. Tumbling down for some plus frames. I'm back. Uh, you should tag Magnus. <laughs> if not Magnus, maybe Brian. If not them, maybe Jif. <laughs> they may have the Google Drive link you're looking for. Fantastic block on the hell sweep. That's not going to kill. However, the Okizeme is very, very important. And there you go, down back to chipping at Horang's two legs is Tapsy. They both share cheese. They both have an eight in their win count. Down three, four, starting it up. Your spacing. Oh no. Yeah, that's why I avoid doing running three in these situations. You will get hit and floated out of it, and then your back will be at the wall. And you have to guess constantly as the Ling from Kavide. Showing Nate the cheese, getting ahead for a 2-0 lead here in the second set. Nothing beats the good old back one. So we're headed over to Devil's Pit, one of the most unique stages in Tekken 7, as as soon as it is match point, it transitions to an infinite stage. Albatross is a stance, yes, but the only things in Albatross are Albatross 2 and Albatross down 2. And then if you spin twice, it's Albatross 1 and Albatross down 1. Those knock down, like Albatross down 1 would knock down if you spin twice. And from Albatross, you can enter Flicker manually or tab. So it depends on what you really want to do as Steve. Like there's still there's still something you can customize with the character. Well, technically you can say that about all characters. You can cu customize it to the way you want to play. That's the beauty of playing fighting games. The Feng Wei that doesn't back one. I'm, I don't know if you've met the Feng Wei that doesn't back one though. <laughs> Doesn't Kempo. All the Fangs I've met have always done those. Of course, to different tendencies and probabilities, but they would press the move. What was the last team Tapsy was part of? I think it was Kavita. The Kavita All-Stars. Cast. I don't know the, any other team after that. But gets the wall bounce, unfortunately unable to connect it. They did say it's another heavy connection, just like what King mentioned earlier. It's five bars, but it's kind of heavy. It's probably the storm, right? <laughs> That's why I said we may push through tonight. So Sonata and Gemini, stand by as you will be next after this set. While standing one, getting the chip. Ooh, another trade! Over... A jackknife! Not overthrow, jackknife. That's a 1 plus 2 break. Does massive damage, how bit they, they nerfed it. It used to do 50 damage, now it does 45 damage. Get the launch. Not wasting any time, trying to get the life back in even. SS4, no, that's not launch punishable on block. DF13? Fantastic low parry. Oh no, oh no. Ah. And the error punished by Nate. And they both share an 8 in their win count. Yeah, you next. I think it's reflective in the match order list. Yeah, you're number 3. Oh 
Oh no. The secret sauce of soya bean curd in full effect. One, two, three. Air blade. Negative 13. Misses the punish, but we'll get the punish in another way off the Cali roll. Crushing that high. Jumping over. Fantastic. Crouch cancel back three. That is most likely dead. Yep. There are three ways to end that. The way Nate did it, you do a rage art or you rage drive after FF4. Well, I wouldn't say Crouch <laughs> versus Steve. <laughs> Mainly what you want to do is not get counter hit. But you can still stand up, just mind your frames. You have, to, you have to have good knowledge of frames when playing against Steve. Because he's always going to be trying to find a way to squeeze in the back one. And if not, squeeze in a back one, set up for back one. Or any other counter hit, whether that be DF2. Uh, ano pa? Galas loves the kind of cheese. Pab 2. Maybe try to find a way to get the natural launcher and Pab DF2 to go in. You may be currently suffering, but if you're able to punish something or defend against a certain situation well, there's a chance. You won't get that chance if you get hit by a DF2-1 immediately. Round start. There you go, spinning around this Tapsy. Trying to deplete as much HP as possible at record time. Nate already at 70% HP. 70 or 80% HP and it's only been 20 seconds. True to form for Dojang players. Working fast is the name of the game. Yeah, you are next. I don't think you're punishing Steve with back 1 plus 2. It, it, it depends on what the opponent's whiffing. Or if you block something that was negative 12 and then you press something, then you, then you press back 1 plus 2. Then you technically quote unquote punished Steve with it. Round two. It's like what's the definition of punishing, right? The current definition of what it is for Tekken players is punishing moves, standing punishment. So if something's negative 14, you punish it with a 14 frame move or less. And then with punishment, your opponent whiffs some, something and then you hit them for it. I am ready for the enemy of Richie Bryan. <laughs> DF4, beautiful. I believe that's the fourth or fifth highest damage you can get on a high wall splat off back three. Fight. Up back four, trying to avoid it, but the launcher. Very attracted to Horang there for maximum damage, getting as many steps as possible. What a beautiful punish there for Tapsy. Getting the get up four for seven slices of cheese. Speaking of which, I have not closed the poll yet, have I not? No, I have not. It's currently split 50 50 for both players. So we'll see if Nate will be able to. Get a game of the board, because he is currently down 2-0. Mixing it up, down 3-4. A little bit risky in this matchup. But of course, you gotta play it with the information that you are being given. How's your opponent reacting to it? And there you go, blocks the hell sweep. So maybe you can throw out the 50-50 and RFS back 3. SS4. Goes for the 10 hit, gets the duck, but no punish. However, in back turn, and that is going to close out that round for sure. Someone else booting up some Tekken 7, some good old Tekken 7. Us true Tekken enjoyers right now. Winding down our night with some intense Tekken action. This is again the second set of the 36th edition of Dojang Exhibitions. We're looking to probably have 7 or 8 sets for tonight based on how many players we have available. JFSR. And when I say 8, that's including like these two sets as well. Again, depends on how you're looking at it for the definition of certain words. <laughs> right, Plasma Blade. No punish there. Oh, that is technically a punish. However, spends the drive already. You're gonna have to wake up from the dream. Or you'll still be sleeping with a W. And there you go. Sweet night for 1-3 here tonight. Assuming Bachis will be playing Kunimitsu. What happens if he's gonna bring out the Noctis, right? Lloyd Forger, you still have that custom, by the way. 4-3, <laughs> cancel it into left flamingo. Ooh, Tapsy was pressing a the button there. Going high is Nade, unafraid of AOP right now. Speaking of AOP, asking you shall receive. At 90% is... At 0% is the link from Cavite. <laughs> Richie Bryan already has an opponent for tonight. So I, you cannot challenge him at the moment. 
Ooh, NCC, a back turn, down 3-4. Ooh, went big there. Nate, remaining patient as possible. However, now back against the wall. Free wall pressure immediately and extra damage on the wall bounce. Max damage on the one, to come back one, the death fist of Ling Xiaoyu. Who wants to play a short set against Feng? Uh, just reply to King here in chat if you want to play against a short set against uh, a Feng Wei. Hello, Brian. Yes, you are present. Ooh. The Horang Wu. You cannot pressure high there. You got to watch out for Cali Roll as much as possible. And you walk in. Uh, no guarantees that your set will be played tonight, but I'll put you in the list. Ooh, not low. Not a low wall slump, but was able to salvage that one with LFS 3 3. Tried to spend the drive, but it was shut down immediately from the Ling from Cavite. Currently 3 1 in favor of Pappy. Down 3 4, starting it up. Oh, Orbital Heal, however, cannot see the future, was not connected to Brian Fury's servers there. Gonna pay the price. Misses out on the punish. Oh, recovers really, really fast, is Ling back one. You throw out backlash, sometimes your opponent recovers in time. It is what it is, even if you get it on point. So this is also Slash, Brian. So the fourth set will still be Boo versus Richie Bryan. So it's a matter of changing number five, six, and seven. Or even eight. So Bitmagin not versus Magnus. Dry is still available. Mm. As much as possible, I don't want teammates to be playing against each other. Not unless you haven't played each other in a while, right? <laughs> Ling won. Oh, so that means Tapsy's at set point. Round one. Hey, is that Harley Quinn? I think so. Daniel, is this your first time playing in Dojang exhibitions? Like, what's your IGN? I'm trying to process which players, what, which players do I have? Like, what, what's the skill level like? Because if it's your first time, well, I'm just going to throw you against a random opponent. Not unless you can give me a general idea of where you're at. Like, if you're watching the players on screen right now, you're like, roughly, I'm roughly around that. Then okay. I know someone else did that before, and I was like, it helped out a lot, actually. Hmm. Rai versus a bit imagine. We're friends on Steam? What's that yeah for? I had a lot of questions. <laughs> Mmm, DF1! AOP is not a problem for Nate here. Or rather, it's not thinking about it. Just press the button. If I lose the AOP, so be it. Ooh, Firecracker down 4-4. Four, four, trying to treat it like Noctis down 2-2, two, two, but... Capsi was able to read that out, no problem. Beautiful punish, negative 13 against Airblade. The new Season 4 move from his master in right Flamingo. Giving him another option to high crush. It's gonna be your first time. Okay. Do you have a rough idea of where you're at? Or do you have like a rough idea of where you're at? Like, are you similar to the players on screen? Like, you've seen probably two games at the very minimum? Fight. Oh my goodness. And if not the players on the screen, if you've seen other players play here as well, and like you can drop their IG in, like, I'm similar to this player, then okay. But if none, it's alright. I'll just give you a random opponent. And then, of course, the next time you join Dojang Exhibitions, I try to make sure it's going to be similar opponent. Similar skill level. I've been a curve monitor for three years. It's all good. Aren't there, like, latency issues? I don't know. That's what I read in some curve monitors. And that's why I've seen some curve monitors with gaming for gaming setups. I guess it depends on what your settings are for the most part, right? You reserve your slot for next week's Dojang. You want Fugi Pugi to be your opponent? Okay, say no more. So Sonata versus Fugi. 
Sunday. The refresh rate, yeah, the refresh rate's pretty, pretty important. Very, very big. Oh no. That's good. And good games to both players. Good game.